Hello, I'm Dr. Arkel Giorgio, Strategic Advisor to Health Grades. Selecting a doctor is more important than buying a new appliance or even a new car. But where do you start? I've got some tips to help you. I call them the five Ps. First, professional. Consider a doctor's credentials. Look for a doctor that's board certified. Here's why. All doctors graduate with an MD after their name and have a license to practice, but board certification is the only way to be sure a doctor is competent in their specialty. Second, practice. Make sure a doctor's specialty focus meets your needs. Here's what I mean. If you may need back surgery, pick an orthopedic surgeon specializing in backs rather than one who specializes in sports medicine or knee injuries. If you're a woman having issues with hot flashes, find a gynecologist with a special interest in treating menopause versus one whose practice focuses on delivering babies. Third, procedures. Find out how much experience your doctor has in performing specific procedures. Here's why this is important. The volume of procedures a doctor has done is correlated with their results. Studies show that cardiac surgeons with the best outcomes should do at least 100 to 125 procedures a year to remain competent. When you're selecting a gastroenterologist, would you rather have a colonoscopy done by someone who does 50 a year or 500 a year? There isn't a specific number for each type of procedure, but like any skill, practice gets closer to perfect. Number four is performance. Be sure to know all your options regarding the hospital or facility where the doctor can perform procedures so that you can assess the performance of all of them and choose the one where you're most likely to get the best care. Physicians typically do procedures at more than one hospital and not all of them perform equally. So it's important to check on the hospital's track record because it's the skill of the doctor and the coordination of the care in the hospital that influences the outcome of your hospital stay. And finally, number five is personal. Look at statistics regarding other patients' relationship and experience with a doctor, how well they communicate and explain treatment options. It's also important to consider how the office staff interacts with patients and how easy it is to get an appointment. Even with a finite list of in-network hospitals and doctors covered by insurance, there's always choice. Arm yourself with information. Check out healthgrades.com for specifics on doctors in your area and know before you go.